Good morning, students. Noah, no shoes here. Uh, I just want to share a little bit of my heart with you this morning. And uh, actually, I had something a little bit planned. And uh, then actually, the other night, um, one of the students, one of you guys, actually uh, just texted me out there listening to a song and just that uh, the song that I actually introduced them to. And uh, they just, it, it meant a lot to them. And they just wanted to. They were texting me that night saying, hey, like, I was listening to a song, and man, it just feels real good to hear right now. And it just kind of clicked with me, and on, one, how amazing that song is, and how applicable and true it is, uh, even to this day. So I wanted to share that with you guys, and just kind of change up what I planned, and just rearrange that, and uh, share with you something that's a little bit more on my heart right now. Um, so... Shout out to the student who pointed this song out to me and reminded me of it. You know who you are. Um, but yeah, so the song is called House on a Hill. It's by um, Amanda Cook. Recommend you go listening to it. Um, either pause it, pause it through right now, go listen to it, come back, or uh, listen to it after this uh, message. And um, But if not, um, I'll give you hopefully enough context to where you can understand it without having to listen to it, but I just recommend going and listen to it and taking some time and meditating on the words and uh, praying uh, throughout the song um, after this, uh, just see what God might have in store for you. So the song House on a Hill by Amanda Cook, um, basically if I was to summarize it, it's about God reintroducing himself to us in a specific time. Um, and it goes about, uh, it starts in silence and, uh, this person, you know, I always put myself in that, in the story, in the song of, uh, going in a place of solitude and with a heavy heart and my mind scattered all over the place, questions galore about God, about, um, life and just everything, um, that's going on. And that's even before all this went down. Um, this is just my go-to uh, grounding of just me and God song and just finding a place of solitude and going to him with just all my craziness and just taking a moment to be silent, calming myself and knowing who he is. And that's like the first, the song has like three parts. That's like the first part is um, going to solitude and just understand that God wants you to just above all breathe and um, be in his presence and allow him to introduce that he is the same God of generations even before you and he has you on his heart. Um, that's the first part and um, it reminds me, put me in this passage that I want to read to you within Psalms uh, 34. And it's verse 4. And I'm reading through the message because I really liked this translation. It said, God met me more than halfway. He freed me from my anxious fears. Look at him. Give him your warmest smile. Never hide your feelings from him. And uh, that's, for me, just a very pretty picture. And kind of puts that first part of that song into context. And just puts it in scripture, or vice versa, actually. Of just how God meets us so much he just asks us to be still know that he's God also in the scriptures and you just understand that he's freed you from all anxious and when you look at him give him your warmest smile and never hide your feelings from him um, other translations say people who look on him like they never have shame in their eyes and that doesn't mean that you carry shame or there's things that you're scared of or your you know feelings that you don't want him to necessarily know of just leads into the second part of the song, House on a Hill, uh, where it talks about, um, it's kind of like God just, I always saw it as like God just sitting there in this moment of silence and just asking me, so, or the, whoever in the song, so yourself, hopefully, as you put yourself in this narrative, to just be real with him, um, to ask the questions, to bring the heaviness to light, um, and it's just, it's just so comforting. Um, and I just feel like this song portrays his, the way Jesus would approach us as shameful sinners or just anxious, nervous balls of wreck 
or doubtful, just to sit there and be like, can you be real with me? There's nothing you're going to lose. I want to heal you. I want to hear where your heart's at now so then I can heal it. Um, and there's, uh, if you remember two weeks ago, uh, when George talked about this, kind of about when God asked Jacob who he was, and at this time Jacob was living a lie pretending to be Esau, and he finally says, I'm Jacob. Um, after a full session of wrestling and breaking his hip and just holding on to God's heel saying, I need you to bless me. I won't let you go until you bless me. And God's like, well, then who are you? And he says, I'm Jacob. He just finally realized I'm broken. I am doubtful. I am mischievous and sinful. And he says, I will. And now you're blessed and healed. Um, so I just like that idea. And... I want you to sit in that a little bit and think about uh, just kind of where, where your heart's at. If Jesus sat down with you and just asked, can you be real with me? Um, you know, he wants to hear your heart. And so I encourage you to, you know, pray a little bit more, meditate on that. Um, and then going further to the third and final part of the song is like the final reassurance of, God saying, I'm going to meet you right where you're at. Um, so after, after you've calmed your heart, been real with him, and just showed him that vulnerability, the rawness of who you are, the good and the bad and the ugly and the beautiful, he said, I'm going to meet you where you are. And, Lord, and then says one more time, like, let me introduce to you who I am. And um, there's this one lyric that I really want that sticks out. Um, that I love so much. He says, I'm, sh I'm as sure as where you're standing and as free as the wind. You don't have to reach for me because this is where I am. Um, and what a God for me. Like, I just think that, that that very simple sentence paints such a beautiful picture of who Jesus is after I've shown him who I am, all vulnerability. I'm, you know, the sinner. We're all sinners. Um, we've all fallen short of his glory and yet once we're there and we enter that space and we give him that heart he says i'm sure as we're standing he's free as the wind author of the universe and he chooses to be so close we don't have to reach for him he's so tight to us like forehead to forehead heart to heart and he he blesses us he wants to be with us in this time of silence, in stillness, in waiting, he wants to take the he wants to take the burden of anxieties. It says in the scriptures of, um, I think it's in Matthew, um, where it says, "Yeah, come to me, all who are heavy laden and burdened, and I will give you rest." Just saying, "Come to me, I'll give you what you need. I am, I am your rest." And I love actually it contains in Psalm 34, bounce back to that, um, where it's in verse 18 actually, where it says, The Lord is near the brokenhearted and saves the crushed spirit. And um, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> There's not much more that needs to be said. There's comfort in that, guys. Um, in times like this, or in past grievances, or things that might be coming, um, he just wants you to be real with him. You have plenty of time to be silent, to be still, to find your house upon a hill. Um, so I encourage you to do that. Go in that space. Be real with him. Be vulnerable with him. Um, listen to the song. And just pray it out and see what comes out of that. Is it delight um, of knowing who he is? Um, it always makes me delight at the end after maybe about an hour of crying. And that's fine too, because then that leads to such delight. In that sobbing, I'm delighting in him because he's so close. And um, don't be afraid to go there, guys. We're here for you. Um, sorry, this went long, as always. But we're here for you. Never hesitate to reach out. And let us know what you think of this. Um, let it know in the comments. Let the leader know individually uh, where that song hit you. What maybe part, like, is it part one, part two, part three? that hits you most and uh, where you feel like you're at. But yes, no matter where you're at, guys, God's there. He loves you. We love you. Take care.